Hey there, I'm Nicole King. I'm the broker owner of 41 Realty Group in Billings, Montana. Today, I'm up at Bar 11 Subdivision in the Heights. I'm sitting down with Hannah Reno. She is the subdivision liaison for Bar 11. She's gonna tell us the history of Bar 11, the price point, there's phase one lots and phase two lots. They've really got a great subdivision going up here. So, Hannah. Tell us everything that people should know. Awesome. Yeah, so Bar 11 evolved probably about five years ago. Now it's turned into a 158 lot subdivision. Okay. There's 23 acres of parkland. Um, there's a children's park right at the entrance of the subdivision that's under development too. And currently phase one is annexed and ready to sell. Okay, and what is the general price point and sizes of phase one lots? So phase one lots range primarily between half acre and three acre lots. Okay. So our phase one um, starting range is about 70,000 and then they go up to 100 or 225,000. Okay, for those bigger three acre lots. Right. And the biggest thing I think that separates you from the surrounding subdivisions is you guys have city water, whereas the other subdivisions around you, you have to drill a well on your property, right? Absolutely, so we have the ability to sustain those lots. So city water is in, but they still have to get a septic, right? Right. So okay. city water, septic, natural gas, and we're part of the Yellowstone co-op for electric. Perfect. Awesome. Um, in the subdivision, there's the general requirements for how big a house has to be or the minimum square footage and general styles and things. So people are, there's easy covenants and restrictions to abide by, right? Mm -hmm. Like they're not going to be overly restricted by them, but they're also protected so that you know, if they build a really beautiful home, right. it's not going to have not so great homes next to it too. You right? know, we consider the subdivision classified as rural luxury is the best way to describe it. Okay. And so we try and have our CCNRs to be cohesive with that mentality. Sure. So you have the ability to build more of a luxury style home and know that, you know, we'll be able to maintain the subdivision in that, in that essence. Perfect. So 1800 square feet is the minimum requirement for building size. Um, up to as big as what you think your septic system can contain. Yeah. We do have all of those septic uh, DEQ information on file too for our phase one lots. Perfect. So that saves time and money for the buyers when they're coming in with their builder and they can bring any builder they want, right? Absolutely. Perfect. So there's, I mean, certainly you have builders that you would work with immediately that if mm -hmm. somebody didn't already have a builder that you could connect them to, but if they did, then their builder can connect with you, right? Right. So Perfect. currently we have Montana made builders as the builders that are on the subdivision right now. Okay. But if you purchase a lot, you're welcome to use whoever you like. Wonderful. Awesome. Well, we're going to get to tour a couple of those homes, right? Absolutely. So we'll take you out, look at a couple of the homes. You can get a good idea of the feel of the subdivision. We'll walk around and give you a good tour. So this is the plot map of what bar looking looks like, right? Yes. Okay. And you've got phase one, phase two labeled. Right. Tell us, if people are trying to find a subdivision, how do they get here? And then explain different phases. Great, yeah, so we're located right off of Highway 312 in Bitterit. So you have a couple different access points. You can take 312 to Hawthorne and enter into the subdivision. Most people take Bitterroot and then enter into the subdivision on Plateau Road. Okay, so Main Street and the Heights becomes 312 and then right. they turn on to Bitterroot. Yes. So, or they can go on to Hawthorne. Okay. Yes. Okay. So it just kind of depends on what your preference is, really. Perfect. Um, yeah, so you can see some of our phase one lots. These ones are definitely more of our luxury lots. They're definitely bigger in style, okay. and more sloped. So it sort of depends on what sort of topography you're looking for. Okay. As far as what building you're like going to be Like if you utilizing. want to walk out basement or anything like that. Right. Okay. So our sloped awesome. lots are kind of more here along by our little drive, and then our flatter lots are here, okay. sort of in the middle of the subdivision. Okay. And then. A lot of them are already spoken for, and then these ones, when phase two opens up, you guys are going through the DEQ process right now to get all that in and put together. Right. And Absolutely. So a couple of months ish. Right. Awesome. Mm -hmm. okay. Definitely by the holiday season is the goal. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs>
Yeah, that'll be awesome. And then, you know, these space two lots definitely more of a luxury style lot as well. Because you have all of this parkland space. And so, you know, the view that you're going to have knowing that there's parkland space is going to be significantly different. And not necessarily like play equipment and walking paths and that kind of stuff. This is more wild parkland space right. to maintain that nice view like you're out in the country. Natural parkland. Yeah. Awesome. Trails. But then you said up at the front of the subdivision, there's a park for kiddos. Right? Absolutely. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Okay. to a deck that so you put your grill and stuff on in there? Essentially, yes. I love it. And you've got, somebody can be taking a shower or whatever, but then they can still have the, you know, sinks and everything available. And then that better also have a walk-in closet. Mm -hmm. This, if I can have this for my kid, I'm great. Yeah. Yeah. Like a hot tub or something down here. Oh my gosh. I would love 
love that but not like just the look out. Mm -hmm. So beautiful. Yeah, I'm going to buy anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm going to buy. Mm-hmm.